Wido. I'm Miharu Nakano. I'm 27. This is my boyfriend, Soma Kakizono. We've been dating since high school. It was my birthday today, so he was taking me out to dinner. It's been more than 10 years now, so I was hoping he'd propose to me soon. Maybe he's gonna take me out to some nice restaurant or pop the question, but then... Wait, here? He took me to a diner we always ate at. After dinner, he gave me my favorite cookie and a necklace. Happy birthday, Miharu. I love you so much. <laughs> Thanks. I was kind of disappointed. Back in high school, this might have been enough, but I don't know. He's never been a big spender, so... His family wasn't very wealthy. Back in school, he always wore clothes he got from his neighbors. But he was always full of energy and had a lot of friends. That's why I fell for him. He started working right after graduating high school. He said he wanted to save up some money for his little brother so he could go to college someday. It was really sweet of him and I admired him for it. But then, in college, I met a guy and most of them were much smarter and had more money than Soma. When I was 20, I told him that we should have gone to college. But then he said, I'm not that smart and I don't like to study, so it's fine. <laughs> he said with a laugh, Okay, I think that's when I started losing feelings for him. Then I graduated college and got a job. Guys around me were making much more than Soma. They worked hard every day and night to better themselves. They even studied on the weekends. But Soma, all he ever did was play soccer and go fishing with his friends. He was always asking me to go camping with him and stuff, but I didn't really feel like it. Then one day... Hey, want to go hiking this weekend? He said to me, but I had to tell him something. Soma, listen, um... Yeah? This guy at work, he asked me out. What? It was our 10-year anniversary. I was hoping he'd propose to me, but looks like that wasn't going to happen. So I decided to end it with him. I had to move on. You mean... I like him too, so I want to break up. I'm sorry. The guy's name was Takahiro Tsuchiya. His father owned his own company. I'm still going to work here for a few more years, but I'm going to take over the family business soon and become the new CEO. So what do you say? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I had feelings for Soma, so I told him I needed some time to think about it. But if I marry Soma, I'll probably have to get a job too. But with him, I'll be set for life. It was a no-brainer. Soma couldn't believe it at first, but then... Fine. If that's what you want, then... He agreed to break up with me. He didn't even put up a fight. He's not even mad? He's such a wuss. He's a nice guy, but that's about it. The next day, I said yes to Takihiro. He seemed really happy when I told him. That's wonderful. You won't regret this. He said with a big smile on his face. Then about a year later, we got married. We both quit our jobs and he took over his family's business as a new CEO. You don't have to worry about money, Harumi. Just do things around the house for me. Thanks, babe. Will do. So I became a full-time housewife. After I got married, I cut all ties with my parents. They were never interested in me, and they weren't wealthy, so I didn't want them leeching off of me. I worked really hard to keep the house spotless. I started making friends with my neighbors. We went out for tea, took yoga lessons together, and went out shopping. Growing up, I wasn't very wealthy, so it was like a dream come true. I started going to cooking school to improve my cooking. Takahiro loved it. He said that I was the best wife a guy could have. If I had married Soma, none of this would have been possible. I made the right call. But then, a few years later, something happened. You all right, Takahiro? Uh, sorry. Something came up at work. No, um, is there anything I could do to help? No, it's fine. I'll handle it. He didn't go into details, but his company wasn't doing so well. He was going through some rough times. I gotta do my part and help him out. I worked extra hard around the house to help him, but it wasn't 
working, his company still was in a lot of trouble. Oh, why is everyone leaving me? Damn it. One day, I heard him yelling in his room. What can I do to help him? If his company needs money, maybe I can borrow some from people I know. But from who? I decided to ask my neighbors for help. But as soon as I brought it up, they all left. I was all alone now. But then, a few days later, when Takahiro came home, he was in a very good mood. You're in a good mood? Yeah, I think the loan application is going to go through. Once this loan gets approved, we'll be back on our feet. I think everything's going to be all right. That's wonderful. I was so happy to hear that. That night, we opened a bottle of expensive wine to celebrate. There's not much I can do, but I'll do everything I can to support you. Thank you, Miharu. I love you. But then, a week later... Damn it! <clears throat> what happened? The loan, it didn't go through. What? You know, Fuji, the guy from the bank. His subordinate found some mistakes on the loan application and they rejected us. Oh no. The guy from the bank said that we had nothing to worry about, but what happened? His subordinate, his name is Kakazono or something. I'm gonna get him for this. Kakizono? That night, I couldn't eat. I was freaking out. Kakizono, that's Soma's last name. Could it be? I grabbed my phone and searched for Soma's profile on social media. He works at a bank now. No way. This can't be happening. I sent him a message. I didn't think he would reply, but I got a reply the next day. I asked him if we could meet. Long time no see, Soma. So, you work at a bank now, huh? Yeah, I got a new job after you broke up with me. I see. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. My husband's company applied for a loan the other day and... Oh, that. Look, I can't disclose information about my clients, but I was just doing my job. It wasn't worth the risk, that's all I can say. What? But the guy from the bank said that we had nothing to worry about! Oh, about that. Then he said something I couldn't believe. That guy, Mr. Fuji, he knew the loan application wouldn't get approved, so he forged some documents to convince his boss. Long story short, he was breaking the law. What? He's been doing this for a while now. Your husband and his father, they were bribing him for years. Turns out my husband's company was in a lot of trouble financially. The other banks started rejecting their loan applications a few years back, so they started bribing Mr. Fuji. The company is in a lot of trouble. There's no way they'll be able to pay us back. I had no choice. We're not running a charity here, so... I get that, but if you don't approve of his loan, his company is going to go out of business. It was bound to happen. It's a miracle the company lasted this long. Wait, you did all this to get back at me, didn't you? Uh, no. Like I already told you, I was only doing my job. It wasn't personal. Liar! Whatever. If you don't believe me, fine. Look, I gotta go. I got work to do. Goodbye. He grabbed the tab and left the cafe. Maybe he was right. Maybe he was only doing his job. But that cold look in his eyes, he wasn't like that before. I didn't know what to believe anymore. A few months later, my husband decided to sell the company. He lost everything. Then he started taking it out on me. Stop doing the laundry. Go get a job. Go make me some money. Fine, just stop yelling at me. Oh, get out of here. You're annoying me. He was able to get a new job, but he was making much less now, and he was always stressed out. I was under a lot of stress myself, so one day I texted Soma, blaming him for everything. But then my husband saw me texting him. Who are you texting? Who is he? Hmm? What? No, it's not like that. Let me see. Stop! This goes back to years. You've been cheating on me all this time. No, listen to me! I tried to convince him, but it was no use. A few weeks later, we filed for divorce. I asked my parents if I could live with them, but since I was the one who left them first, they refused. So I found a new live-in job and started working full-time at a factory. Where did it all go wrong? How did I end up here? I was getting old and fat. I was miserable. Maybe I should have stayed with Soma. I checked his socials. He looks like he was happily married now.
He looked really happy with her. I should have never broken up with him. But it's too late for that now. I had nothing. I was all alone. Oh well. <laughs> nothing I can do about it now.